new product. We just released a new application that lets you sync your Google, Apple, and Outlook events right to your remarkable tablet right online. I'm going to show you how to walk. I'm going to walk you through this. Um, right now, we're going to show you how to do this with Google. So on the right here, you'll see the website. You go to eplanners.com, um, and then you start your planner. You just hit create your planner. You can actually go through here and see the various options and features of this new calendar. Uh, so let's go ahead and go in there, um, create your planner, and then you're first presented here um, with uh, the settings here for the re for the calendar. So notice you have options here. You can actually create the calendar for various devices. Let's keep it selected at Remarkable Paper Pro. And you can also create a calendar for multiple years. Right now, it defaults to 2025, but we could actually make a calendar for any of these years. And to the right here, you'll notice a preview as you change the settings. So let's go back down to 2025. And let's say we want the week to start on Sunday, okay? So let's keep it that way. And also, it this new calendar also supports various language, uh, multilingual support. So it can be translated in English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, and Spanish. So let's keep that in English. Um, and I'm right-handed, so let's, let's keep it as right-handed. This means that um, on your Remarkable tablet, there is a space on the left for the menus. So as you're jotting on the calendar, it won't cover that up. So that's what that means. If you select it to the left, it will have that space on the other side. But our calendar actually fits universally on left and right, so you don't have to worry about that. This section here allows you to change the um, the actual titles for the task area. So right now I have top five and important, but you can put anything here. Let's say I wanted to do um, daily routine. Um, it could be anything. And I, I can't spell, so let's, let's erase that. Um, so let's turn it back to big five. And then um, notice you have these settings and now we're gonna go on to the, the styling section. So you go ahead and click continue. And you can actually set the font size here, but it's at the optimal size right now. So I'm gonna keep it at, at that. But if I were to drag it over here, um, it would actually um, be larger fonts, okay? So um, you can also jump between a, a color or grayscale. Grayscale is basically if you want to have the, the um, calendar look best when it's black and white. Grayscale, I think, works the best on all different tablets because you don't have to worry about contrasting issues on the Remarkable tablet. As you know, some of those colors are very light. So I would suggest either playing around with color or grayscale. Let's keep it at grayscale here. Now let's go back to color so you can see what it looks at by default. Um, another thing you can do here is you can either disable, um, show or hide the time blocks, okay? The time blocks are basically the numbers here on the left of the, of the calendar. So I can go ahead and show and hide those, but let's leave them on because I want to sync with my events from my calendar and I want them to line up with the actual time here. So once we're done here, let's go to continue to calendar sync. So now this is where we're going to, where the magic happens and we're gonna sync Google to these, this um, calendar, this daily planner. So first off, there is a slew of uh, public calendars that you can choose from, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and choose US holidays from, because I'm from the United States. Um, and also right here, I can actually set the calendar time zone. So let's say I'm out of town and I wanna create one of these calendars for the time, do time zone in Europe. So I could do that. I could just change that here and select the one that I need to for this particular calendar. Um, this right here, now this connect calendar is basically where you paste in a public iCal formatted link. And this, um, most calendars support this Google, Outlook, Apple, 
um, various, um, many different, um, pretty much any web-based calendar supports iCal. So um, you can pretty much integrate 99.9% .9 of all calendars out there, but we're gonna focus on Google here today. So let's go ahead and go, I have, I have my um, Google Calendar selected and you notice this calendar here. I named it my name, my nickname. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the, the little hamburger. Let's keep this checked. The hamburger icon on the right and let's go into settings and sharing, okay? So first you'll see this here and notice you will see this, see only free busy high details. You will not be able to actually, Google has a security setting by default that if this is your def your main, uh, I guess you could say calendar account, it's going to not, it's going to, it's going to basically, um, you can still integrate your, your events to the calendar, but it's going to automatically put free or busy in the title name, just, just for privacy purposes. But if you wanted to create another one in here, you could actually select it and then select to see how this is grayed out. But if you were in a, in one that you created, um, a public calendar, calendar that you created on this account, you could actually select this here and you could see all the event, event, event details as you select it. So I'm gonna actually keep it like that because it's fine. I'm just gonna show you how to actually integrate this. And then um, what you can do is scroll down here, okay? You notice you see this public access in iCal format. What you wanna do is select that and right click or copy it. So you have that in, in the clipboard. And let's go back to the the um, the web page where you're actually config configuring your calendar. So let's paste it in here, calendar URL iCal. Right click paste, and then connect calendar. Okay, you notice that there is one in here already, the US holidays, and there's 300, I can't really see that, I think it's 318 um, events that it found in this particular um, calendar. You can have up to five of these in one calendar, which is really cool. What it will do is color code each calendar in your um, your planner so that let's say you have two events that conflict, you can know, okay, this is from this calendar, this event's from this calendar, and that event is from the other one. And if they're, si if they're on the same hour block, they will be shown side by side. So they're never overlap and you can actually, you know, you can jot around this with your remarkable pin, um, which is pretty, cool here so you can integrate you know your your events with actual actual annotated um, notes on your remarkable tablet so let's go ahead and connect this and it is loading and notice it found eight events um, okay so now you see that I have two of these calendars connected to my calendar right now and I hit the last um, the last step um, when I want to get my planner I'm ready to go now so I'm gonna click click that and it's gonna go to the, you know, the payment screen, you put your credit card information and you hit pay now. You can always go back down here um, whenever you need to. Uh, and also up here, this is where you can actually, once you, once you make your purchases, you can actually go back in here and download your calendars and make changes. Um, so if I click in there, um, I, what I'll have to do is put my email address that I use with the order and then it will send a code to your email address and you pop, put that code in and then you'll notice your, um, your actual uh, downloads on the screen. You can actually go in there and you'll click it and you can go back in and edit. Um, so that's pretty much it, connecting your, um, your Google Calendar with the brand new EP daily calendar. We're really excited about this and it's been a long time coming. Uh, we're a small team, but we're always innovating. Uh, those who you know is in the community, we're always pushing the, the envelope um, on e-ink tablets. Uh, it's not just for remarkable tablets. You can use this for an iPad. You can use this for a Supernote. You can use this for a Books tablet. Anything that supports a PDF will work with this solution. Okay, so have a wonderful day and happy creating.